What I want to do today is connect our Slack app to ChatGPT so that whenever a new message is sent to our Slack, a conversation will be started with ChatGPT in our selected Slack channel. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Slack to trigger ChatGPT, I'll need to use Slack as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Message Posted to Channel as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Slack sees a new message is sent into our Slack channel, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Slack, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Slack account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Select the channel you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in ChatGPT into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Conversation and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier just like I did with my Slack account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key, and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under User Message, click Text under the dropdown and then click Continue. Click Test Action and we can move on to our second action step. We'll need to make sure that ChatGPT is responding to our Slack app. To do this, click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and then type Slack into the search bar. Click Send Channel Message and then click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Channel, select the channel you'd like to use for your Zap. Under Message Text, select Assistant Response Message. Once that's complete, you can name your bot. I'll name mine GPT Bot and then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new message is sent out to our Slack, a conversation will be started with ChatGPT in our selected Slack channel. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.